Hello and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2024. Um, right, this is back on the channel. Why is it back on the channel? Well, if you look at my previous video, you will note that um, everything was fine. Everything was rosy in the world of Big Z. She was back on the road and running fine because I'd got rid of all that horrible old seafoam fuel and everything was great. Not so, that was premature. The day after that video went up on YouTube, the bike started playing up again. Wouldn't run wouldn't start when it did start it would pop and backfire and then it just completely died it decided i'm not going to start you can do one you're not riding me and uh, i was kind of at my wits end with it so i decided right what can i do to actually get this thing running i know what i can do i can basically replace everything that can be replaced and see if that solves the problem so what did i do well i uh, i put new oil in it i put a new filter on it i put a new air filter in it I put new spark plugs in it. I took the carbs off. I know, shock horror. I educated myself in the way of the carburetor by watching tons of videos on YouTube and uh, bought a Haynes manual and used that. Removed the carburetor, cleaned it, fully cleaned it, took all the float balls off everything, cleaned out all the jets, rebuilt it all up again um, and then put it back on the bike. When I was doing that, I actually snapped a piece. Um, if you look down here in this hole, you can see these like little um, rubber hoses. And basically what that is, is a system which warms the carburetors. It uses the coolant system from the bike to keep the carburetors sort of from icing up, I believe. And when I was basically reinstalling the carburetor the first time, I managed to snap a piece of a little plastic kind of um, mechanism that goes around, like a cradle that goes around the carburetor. So I had to wait for a piece to come from a Kawasaki dealer. Um, when it did come, I rebuilt it all. I put some footage in here of me messing about with that kind of stuff. Uh, what else did I do? I put some new uh, fuel filters in it. And I also uh, lubed the cables from the uh, from the throttle sort of down to the carburetor. Um, like I say, clean the whole thing out. And um, yeah, that seems to have solved the problems. Basically, I'd never done anything this detailed on a bike before. I've never taken a carburetor apart, never delved that deep into an engine. But I think it's really important to do that because it gives you an insight as to how the bike actually works. And it actually makes it more personal to you. I know people who are way more knowledgeable and technical and bikes than I am will, will you know, probably agree with me on this kind of thing. But when you do get under the, under the tank, as it were, and get to know a bike, how it works, it becomes more of a not so much a tool but you kind of know it as a as a as an entity if that makes sense um so yeah it was, it's actually been a really good learning experience and so now i know basically how the engine completely works well not fully but you know i've got a better knowledge than i did have before um so maybe it was a blessing in disguise that the end the thing just stopped working and allowed me to uh, improve my knowledge um yeah i'll turn the bike on just so you can see that it starts again it obviously starts because I, I wouldn't have got here otherwise but prove it um so yeah since i did all that replaced everything essentially and cleaned everything out seems to be running fine now uh i don't know what happened with that seafoam stuff maybe it wasn't even the seafoam maybe it just been because it had been sat in the showroom uh since the previous owner had basically had the engine completely reworked um head race again if you're watching this thank you for doing all that it means i don't have to do a lot of stuff like the valve clearances etc uh, not for the time being anyway but um, maybe it was just the fact that it had been sat for that long. I, d I don't know. But now it's fine. It's back. And everything seems to be working as it should. So, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else needs doing on this bike. I have considered, even though I said I wouldn't do this because I wasn't particularly bothered about it, I have considered consulting somebody about getting this, this dent taken out of the tank. But it's minimal. You can't really even see it, to be honest. Um, so I'm not that bothered about that. Um, as I say in my previous videos, like the exhaust is completely redone. The, um, the radiator is brand new, essentially. Um, you know, I, again, I've mentioned on my other videos, I've done a couple of things like put the, uh, the little guard on the end of the um, mud guard and put the, the protectors on the oil cooler and the radiator. Uh, I've replaced all these bolts here, all these um, fairing bolts for silver ones. Uh, the standard ones are black. 
I'm not too sure if I like them, to be honest, but I'm not really that bothered. Um, I still think it looks pretty decent with the silver ones on. But yeah, um, after I did all of basically open heart surgery on the bike, now seems to be running fine. So uh, fingers crossed, that's the end of my problems. Thank you very much for watching. That's just a quick update on Big Z. She rides again. I said she would, and she is doing now. Well, will be in a minute when I ride home. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a you know it's been a long two weeks of waiting for parts to arrive and bits and pieces to turn up in the post and just to have the time really to set aside and get the whole thing apart and just get stuck in and uh, teach myself how to fix a ZZR 1100 that won't start. I seem to have done that now. Oh, I did charge the battery up as well. Important thing to note. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, there's some kids making lots of noise nearby. So I'm going to uh, going to get out of here because teenagers scare the living shit out of me, as uh, the um, late, great My Chemical Romance once said. Goodbye.